Hi Charlotte, Phil Beaver from the Wilderness Club. Just recap on our lesson this morning. So as you take the club away here, you can see your club head looks at the ball for a long time as you take it away. So it's what we call slightly shut. And when we get to this halfway back position here, the face is literally looking straight at the floor. Um, if we look at Alex's swing here on the right, you'll see as he takes the club away, he's trying to get the club head to move this way, a little bit more around his body as he takes it away. And you can see you and him there in slightly different positions. His club head is slightly more behind him, okay, where yours is a little bit more in front. And then when your club hinges from there, Charlotte, we can see it's quite steep and vertical where Alex's is a bit lower and more around. So when he hinges, you can see now if we draw a line on the shaft, it points above the ball, and we draw a line on yours, it points inside the ball. So and then that good feel, feeling for you is if you stood against a wall, I want you to hit the wall as early as you can on the way back. You can see here as you take the club back, it's nowhere near the wall. So we're trying to just get that club head to work a little bit more around the body. And if you're wearing a watch on your left wrist, you should be able to tell the time as soon as you take the club away. Now you were taking the club away uh, and couldn't tell the time. So really feel like the club rotates around the body. Everything's trying to get the club head to move this way. That'll make a huge difference. The second part of the swing we worked on was these legs. So if we look at your legs coming down, very flat-footed, coming into the ball, um, coming in now. I mean, that literally looks like you set up how you set up. And still, we've got flexion in the knees. Nothing's really changed there. Consider your address position, and then we go through, and then we try and have sort of a little fake turn, but nothing's really moved to that left side. If we look at Alex here on the right as he starts down, just look how aggressive this lower half is. You I mean from the top? Look how much they rotate and turn. If I gave you a tennis racket, you know, you'd really turn over the shot and into the ball. Um, so I need to get them legs to rotate. And all I want you to think about is getting that right foot pointing straight forward, so up. If we look at Alex's there as he goes through. Look at the foot. It's dead up on the toe. No weight on that right side. It's all on the left. And the hips or pelvis is pointing straight at the target, as opposed to yours is a little bit stuck. So work on that. And while you're working on the feet and turning... We'll start working on where you hit the ground. So I want you to address the line with the ball, where this first yellow line is, but I want you to hit the ground anywhere in front of the ball. So you can work on the legs as you rotate through. Try and hit the ground past the ball. That'll make a big difference. And then cycle between what I've just said there and the backswing. One ball on backswing, one ball on through swing, and cycle that and just see which starts to get easier. If the backswing becomes a little bit more difficult, do two backswings to every bit of footwork you do. And again, just learn by the shot. So if the ball goes low and left, the likelihood is the backswing was incorrect. It was a bit shut. Uh, and then if you go straight and you didn't strike it very well, you hit the mat before, then you know the legs weren't so good. So work on them two moves, get some great results. And I uh, look forward to seeing you again. Thanks, Charlotte.